the Orange Whip, the nightclub, have a promotion of bring your own mom to the nightclub yep. to um, get free drinks or free entry or some some promo where if you bring your mom, you get whatever. <laughs> now, I'm wondering how many people would hire a mom to get in. Hire to- a mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You hire- That's an interesting. Because <laughs> what's the definition of your mom going to be? Well, I don't know. You just... Clearly someone old enough that looks... In general, people's moms don't necessarily look like can you, them. So can you imagine taking your mum to Orange Whip? No way. <laughs> For everyone out there, Orange Whip is a nightclub here on in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. Yeah. That is a bit... Well, I think it's irrelevant. It's the fact that it's a nightclub and taking your mum clubbing. Yeah. I mean, it's just, just think a bit about weird. taking your mum partying and getting and having a few too many drinks with your mum standing around while you're listening to, again, listening to your favorite <laughs> beats and dancing. You imagine <laughs> dancing with your mum on the dance floor while you're li- while you're 20 listening beers deep with <laughs> twenty beers deep, listening to like say a, a lesso or any other house mu- house or dance or trance or whatever whatever takes your fan whatever music takes your fancy. That would be an, that would be uh, an interesting experience. Now I'm sure some people have already done this. No, no, well clearly they have because the promotion's running and they have pictures, so they've done yeah. it before as well. It's not a this is not the first time they're doing this promo. Yeah, but I, I yeah I just find it very weird. But well, what, what do imagine you reckon, hiring someone and bringing them and like what do you reckon motivates a place like that to want to do something like that? Because it's a wild promotion that gets people in. That's true. Actually, any kind it's of crazy different. thing. You know, but, the other thing, the other, you know, one of the good things about partying with your mum would be what she's always, she's going to buy your drinks for you. You would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Although you would hate to have like, I mean, some people out there, I'm sure have a mum who is probably wilder than them and parties harder Yeah. Can than you them. imagine your mum upstaging <laughs> you? <laughs> imagine your mum's like, drink, drink, yeah. drink, drink. Your mum's like upstaging ooh. you on the dance floor or partying or <laughs> whatnot. raise some pussy who wouldn't drink she's 10 showing, beers. She's showing up your friends pretty much, <laughs> like how to how to do it pretty much. So, yeah, that would well, be... Well, I think what would be even worse is imagine your mum trying to pick up while you're there. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to wing, oh, yes, trying to wing, wing man or wing woman for your mum? I... Well, I, okay, we're we're looking at it from the male perspective. Yeah, though. if you're a girl and your mom was single, then you probably wouldn't mind so much. Yeah, that'd be all right. Yeah, but as a guy, it'd have to be weird. But imagine hiring a woman. That let's would just be... say that a lady of the evening, and then telling her that I need you to come along to pretend to be my mom, yeah, so that, that I can be... get entry, and then yeah. we can go home and that do would our. Be, that would be kind of funny. Now, you've heard of the girlfriend experience thing? That oh. <laughs> Imagine the mom the mom <laughs> experience. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> the, you pay for the mum experience for the night. <laughs> I mean, this could go Does into... Does that mean all... you get to drink some milk? I mean... <laughs> You could go to right? like a MILF. It could be like a <laughs> MILF experience or yeah. something. <laughs> this also leads me to another thing that yeah. happened. That um, So one night I was out with your brother, actually just down the road here, yeah. up the road. And there was a bartender working there. Yeah. That um, to put it bluntly, she looked like... Your mom, if your mom was 20. Okay. And your brother agreed that it did look creepily like her. Yeah. <laughs> and as it I got on, we ended up telling her that. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a bit of kind of mummy issues going on well, that night. Well, I was telling Brian how funny it would be if that he was to um, date her. And- oh, that... <laughs> <laughs> that would that's kind of funny if that was like, the case. Mom? <laughs> yeah. That's very interesting if that yeah, kind of happened. It was pretty creepy. That is very, very interesting. Wow. <laughs> Can you just think about it out there. Dating someone who looks like and maybe acts like your mum, but he's I'm 20 sure there's years. people out there. Oh, there the probably fetish. plenty are. So I mean you look at how big MILF fetishes are, they don't I'm sure. 